Well, hey friend, welcome here. I am so glad you've joined me for a deep clean new year reset, refresh. That's what we are doing today and actually tomorrow as well. This video will cover a few days because I had a lot on my to-do list and I wasn't going to pressure myself into finishing it all on one day. I'm glad you are here. I hope this video is inspiring and motivating for you. We have been getting a lot of snow where we are in Canada, and so it just felt so cozy having up our Christmas decor. But the time has definitely come where we're both, me and my husband are both feeling like we just need a reset. It's feeling cluttered. So I'm excited to take down our Christmas decor today. And I thought while I did that, I would just wipe down surfaces, give our space a good extra cleaning, deep clean some areas that don't get cleaned as much, and just give our space a refresh and reset for the new year. Something I have been thinking a lot about recently is the idea of diligence. And this is an area that I really want to grow in and focus on this year and just in general. I find that I can be lazy as we all can. And I've just been reflecting on how I have this tendency I've noticed, especially when working in the home, that if there's a task that I don't want to do, maybe I just don't enjoy it, or for whatever reason, I just don't want to do it, I won't. And it often ne gets neglected. And sometimes I will wait a really long time to do that thing where I should just have the tenacity and the diligence to get it done when it needs to be done. So that's something that I am hoping to grow in. And I've also wondered if having a cleaning schedule could be helpful with this. I don't currently have a cleaning schedule. I just sort of work on tasks as they need to be done. So let me know in a comment down below if you have maybe specific days that you work on cleaning projects in your home. Let me know your routines or your systems that have been helpful for you. And maybe I'll try and implement some things in this new year. I'm just taking some Q-tips here to clean out some of the little crevices and I'm just using a multi-purpose cleaner. I like to use a wet microfiber cloth with the cleaner on the surfaces and then follow that up with a dry microfiber cloth to dry it off and just pick up any like dust or any dirt and grime that is on the surfaces. This drawer was just getting a little bit unruly, so I'm taking some time to tidy it up, wipe out the little dividers. I really like these dividers that I have in here. I think I got them from HomeSense or Marshall or something. They're really cheap. So I'm just wiping out any dust and just reorganizing this space, giving it a fresh start. I like to keep my cleaning products pretty minimal. You'll see a few of my favorites throughout this video. I also like to keep my beauty products minimal. This is my makeup basket. It has all of the makeup that I own and I'm just taking a minute to reorganize, declutter out some clips that I don't use. And I find that just keeping the beauty products that I use all the time is super helpful and doesn't feel cluttered. I'm removing our shower curtain liner because there were water stains on the bottom 
and I will just soak this in about a cup of bleach with cold water for like 10 or 15 minutes and that gets the stains out. Then I can just rinse it and hang it back up. Next, I'm using my seventh generation bathroom cleaner to just scrub down the tub. Later on when I take a shower, I'll take time to actually scrub it all down. And these are some of the cleaning products that I've been using recently. I like seventh generation. I like nature clean. Also vinegar and water is helpful for lots of things. And then somebody woke up from his nap. So we're gonna go hang out and <laughs> we'll get back to cleaning a little bit later. So while we are cleaning and working on taking care of our homes together, something that's been on my mind is finding joy in the mundane. And not only that, but seeking to serve my family and ultimately the Lord when it comes to cleaning, cooking, doing laundry, all of those mundane everyday tasks really are important. And the Bible talks about doing everything as unto the Lord. And I've been thinking about that recently, and I definitely don't do this perfectly. There are a lot of times when I am complaining or grumbling or just don't have a correct mindset or heart posture when it comes to working in our home. And kind of piggybacking on what I said earlier, sometimes I just don't feel like doing certain tasks, but I really want to grow the mindset of cleaning, doing laundry, all of those everyday things, the things that get dirty all the time, the things I have to clean over and over. I want to do those things joyfully and in order to serve my family and the Lord also. And a few ways that I've been doing that or helping to do that is by listening to worship music when I am cleaning or cooking if I'm feeling a little bit like grumbling or I have the temptation to complain, I will put on worship music and that just helps to redirect my thoughts and heart ultimately to serve and remember the reason why I am doing these things and just to be thankful to have the family to serve, to have a home, to live in a land where we can do these things. And so I find that that helps to just redirect my thoughts Another way that I like to do this is by listening to podcasts. I will put my AirPods in and listen to a podcast while I'm doing my chores. A few that I've really been loving for a long time is Risen Motherhood and also the M is for Mama podcast. Those are a few that are just so encouraging. And I have found that while being at home, I have a lot of, not necessarily downtime, but I have a lot of quiet time with being a first time mom, having a baby, there's just a lot of space to just sort of be in my own thoughts. And so I find if I'm listening to a podcast like that, it helps to just have some solid truths to meditate on so that even on the days when the prospect of cleaning just seems burdensome, I realize that serving my family through the household chores is an expression of love and despite my grumbling or tendency to complain, I know that maintaining a tidy and organized home contributes to the well-being of those that are in my family who I love most. So in these moments, I want to choose to replace the grumbling heart with thankfulness and recognize that it's a privilege to serve my family, to have a family to care for. So when I take this mindset shift, I approach chores as an opportunity to serve the Lord through serving my family and I discover a sense of purpose and fulfillment in the seemingly mundane and small tasks of daily life.
Well, it is the next day and we have a mountain of laundry to get through. I like to stay on top of these daily tasks like dishes and laundry, the things that are just reoccurring each day. But if I'm being honest, laundry is something that it's probably my least favorite chore to do, if we're being honest. And oftentimes I am pretty good about throwing laundry in the wash and the dryer, but then I will often leave it until the next day to clean. So that is something that I want to work on is just putting away the laundry as soon as it is dry. Moving on to the kitchen where I left a big mess this morning, I decided to try a like multi-green seeded bread. It's a new recipe and so I have a lot to clean up from that and also from breakfast. This is another task that is just daily. I try to stay on top of the dishes so that they don't pile up throughout the day and the week even and that just helps our kitchen to stay clean. The kitchen is the heart of the home so I find I feel a lot less overwhelmed if the kitchen is clean. Something that I would like to be more diligent about is cleaning out the fridge regularly. I have started implementing a routine where I just clean out the fridge every time we get groceries. I usually grocery shop on Monday, so before I go get my groceries, I'll just do a wipe through. It works out that way because our fridge is usually quite empty. So I'll wipe everything down, toss anything that's expired, and I found that that's a really great way to keep on top of it. Somehow I managed to get seeds all over this counter. I don't know, I think the bag slipped or something, but there were just tiny little seeds everywhere. So I'm using my Ecomax multi-purpose cleaner. This is a new one that I'm trying. It is natural. Um, and so I really like it. It's lavender scented with essential oils, I think. Anyways, I'm really enjoying it. I'm going to finish up these dishes, get the dishwasher running. That way the kitchen is nice and clean to start our dinner prep later. Another daily task is just general maintenance and tidying. I like to do this in the afternoon before Silas gets home from work is kind of just my routine that I've fallen into and it works really well. I like to kind of have the living and kitchen area cleaned up before dinner. Going for a quick vacuum. I love, 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 love my Dyson vacuum. We got this soon after we got married because the apartment we were living in at the time had a central vac which was great, but it was just so frustrating. Oh, this is me hydrating. <laughs> it was so frustrating carrying the vacuum everywhere. And so we got a cordless one. Well, things sure are looking a lot more clean and organized around here. We are going to enjoy it for today because I know tomorrow Things will be messy again and there will be more dishes to do and more laundry to wash, but that's okay. That is all part of the joy of it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know if you did and also let me know if you like this kind of style of video. That really helps me out when I am planning videos to share with you guys. Thank you again for being here, for clicking on this video. I hope you are encouraged, inspired, and motivated here, and I'll look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!